Hi Virgo, we are going to look at the 14th to the 20th of March and see what is coming through. I'm going to be pulling um, past, present and future sort of messages to tie in what is going to be happening in this week and we're also going to look at any challenges, advice and things like that of course to see what's happening so definitely stay tuned. Um, but I just wanted to mention a few things to begin with that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services like private paid readings, uh, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, uh, healing work, black magic energy removal and things like that, everything is down below and on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's also intention items which thousands of people have seen results with which are handmade, meditated with and saged. They are items for again various areas of your life but there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, uh, sage bundles, candles, um, teas and things like that as well. Okay, so let's begin Virgo. Now first, we are going to start by just pulling some cards to see what we have. Okay, so there's a little overall. Oh look, there's a little feather on my table as well. I don't know if anyone can see that. Perhaps, yeah, the tiny little feather. This is actually a feather. It's not dust. <laughs> That's so sweet. Okay. For, you know, white feathers represent protection. So I very much so feel that this is a week where you are being protected. And um, I also feel here as well that some of you might find like, oh my gosh, you know, a terrible thing could have happened and it didn't because... I'm protected and I think that you're going to very much so feel that way you know when you have like a near miss with something that's what I see here now it's not like a fatal near miss or an extremely disastrous near miss it's just something that you you think you could have like um almost done like you could have almost dropped you know your phone in water or you could have um accidentally you know, tripped over something and it could have really hurt. So there's a near miss and you're basically being protected in that sense for sure. And it's something you're going to realize. Okay, so we have got here the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Now, what this week is bringing you is it's allowing you to overcome challenges and obstacles that you have been facing. And the Ten of Pentacles clearly shows here that things are now starting to align and come together in terms of opportunities that you have been seeking, both romantically and in regards to your career and your finances. The Five of Wands here definitely shows that there has been a challenge of you know, kind of not seeing eye to eye with other people and them not seeing eye to eye with you. But what I see here is that there's much more openness, there's much more dialogue, and there's much more understanding this week where people who have been like this are much more likely to sort of change their attitude because fives in tarot represent change. So your challenge, <laughs> I just started shuffling quite quickly, but the challenge here is the Ten of Swords, feeling like something here didn't work out, something was very difficult. It's obviously left you in a state of confusion, which you do carry some of that into this week, but there's also a sense here of an opening and there's more progression here. An opportunity that you felt that you missed out on is suddenly has suddenly come alive, has suddenly represented it to you, represented itself to you, there we go, and... Uh, you know, you're, you're overcoming it. Look, we've got, as one of the main cards of um, this week, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. This is your challenge, but actually you're getting, you're getting over that challenge and you're not feeling that level of pain anymore. In fact, it's opening up a brand new chapter and I think that is absolutely amazing. So the Ten of Swords is really about, you know, a situation that hasn't worked out. It was very challenging, very upsetting, left you feeling very confused, but actually there's an opening in regards to this particular situation as well. And there's also some money opportunities. Okay, let's have a look at your recent past to see what really has been going on here. Just sense that you've been trying to take care of yourself and you've been trying to heal and you've been trying to accept and, and really put yourself first because I know that so many of you here don't want to live your life depending on someone else to the point where your emotions depend on what they're doing. You know, that's really painful for you because you do think a lot and you do overthink and you do, you know, you, you do that. But I just see here that what I'm seeing in your recent past is that you just want to be stronger, you know, you don't want to feel so emotionally overwhelmed, you just want to feel balanced, you want to feel like yourself, you want to make yourself proud, or your family proud, you just want to, you want to be accepted for who you are, and I just see that as so many of you just want to be accepted, and so now you're thinking, you know what, I'm just going to be myself, so I see a lot of healing as well here in your recent past, and sort of trying to accept 
like, okay, maybe this happened and it's not my fault. And I think that's so true. I don't believe that the situation that you have been in was ever your fault. So, you know, sometimes you can think like, oh, maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have done that. But I still don't see this as your fault. Um, the other thing I just want to say as well is it's an amazing affirmation, you know, to validate your own thoughts and emotions from time to time. Because as an overthinker, you can think one side and then the other side very quickly. But definitely do validate your own emotions and thoughts. I think that's very interesting. Uh, sorry, important, important, important. Um, but yes, recent past, Queen of Pentacles, a lot of acceptance here towards yourself and also someone really seeing your power, which I think is why we see here this sort of energy. Um, present, let's have a look at the present. So yeah, you're getting through those obstacles and challenges. I still see you doing quite a bit of overthinking. Let's get some another card for the present. Yeah. There's a real sense of victory here. The Seven of Wands are about your obstacles and challenges and feeling overwhelmed by certain situations and scenarios of how people have treated you. But then you're really thinking to yourself, oh, wait a second, like I'm not a bad person at all. And then the Ace of Swords here is that victory within yourself to feel that, you know what, I didn't do anything wrong here. I'm just trying to be myself. I'm just a human being. There's a very sort of fragile energy which turns into a superpower. So <laughs> you're, you're, you're a real superpower. So say to yourself, I've got the superpower power um <laughs> comment it down below as well especially if you claim the reading but you really have because this is victory there's an opportunity here that's going to come your way and there's going to be dialogue with someone who's not treated you quite right from what i'm seeing definitely and to be honest you know it's your choice whether you want to even entertain that or not i see many of you wanting to also move forward okay so now we look at the near future Ooh. okay all right, Virgo. And then we will look at what you don't see coming. Okay. So near future, two pages. Okay. So here we go. There's someone that's clearly, clearly interested in you, wants to talk to you. We've got social energy here. Some of you may have been dealing with someone who's in a third party, but the three of cups is more so just a social energy in general, rather than it just being a third party energy. And the page of swords here is about dialogue coming from people who were not so clear towards you. Um, a situation that you felt unjust of just ended out of nowhere and you're just thinking to yourself like what the actual heck happened there oh my god you know it's, it's, it's an overwhelming situation it's an overwhelming scenario and um, we've got the three of wands here um, this is what you don't see coming um, with the nine of pentacles and this really is about the fact that you are a very patient person and naturally as you also live your life and you put yourself first things are aligning, things are coming together. So this is your near future. And this is what you don't see coming is that actually by putting yourself first, by healing, by being patient with yourself, by looking after yourself, the things you want are actually coming your way, not by you forcing there, sitting there and waiting for things to happen. But actually by putting yourself first, the four of wands here shows that your abundance is coming your way. Opportunities are coming your way. Someone who's not treated you very well is, is starting to realize that they actually need to do something about the situation rather than just sit there. And I think that's really interesting. It clearly goes to show that there is, you know, there is that energy of understanding as well. And finally, we have here the fall, which is, yeah, this new beginning, right? So that's what you don't see coming is you don't see coming this new beginning that is refreshing, that is, you know, beautiful. It's rejuvenating. It is full of like, happiness and joy and you see all of this yellow and the blue here represents the throat chakra with the communication so basically I, I need to tell you here that so many of you are moving towards a new chapter a new chapter which is lighter brighter it is airier you know there's situations here that obviously kind of just came came crashing down for absolutely no no reason or no fault of your own and to be honest you know it's 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 they, they will try and resolve things with you. I, I don't see you needing to do that. In fact, I see here a lot of you emphasizing and putting emphasis actually on healing and putting yourself first. And that's actually what's aligning you to what you want. So this week is, you know, it's, there's a lot going on here, but actually there's a real sense of also self-care towards yourself and an opportunity opening up as well in terms of your finances, which just really makes you feel also very boosted and very motivated as well, which I think is so, so amazing. And this is your reading, Virgo. So <laughs> if you found that this, um, you know, if you claim this reading, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And definitely do take care as well, everyone. And uh, yeah, 
I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on that, feel free to do so as I post short readings on there every single day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye everyone.